Yes. I am right. Okay. That, uh, look, you're going to have to accept that here lately, I've had this real problem with admitting that other people are right, mm. even when they are right. Mm-hmm. Like, when they are right, I just gloss right over that shit like it didn't happen. Fair enough. I'm like, the sky's purple. They're like, no, it's blue. And I'm like, man, them cardinals. <laughs> 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 I, I just keep it moving. I like it. I like I it. I can't deal with people being right this week. All right. Have you seen all the Rocky movies? Not all of them. Have you seen the fourth one with Dolph Lundgren? The, well, where, the Russian. Where the, the Soviet the Union. Mu- mutant dude. Yeah, the, the mutant I, dude. I will break you. I must break you. That's, I've that seen one. many, many YouTube clips. Okay. So during the filming of the filming of Rocky Four, Dolph Lundgren accidentally punched Sylvester Stallone sto- so hard that he had to spend eight days in intensive care. So he really did break him. Yeah, he did, he did break <laughs> that, that's him. That's nice. How about this? Uh, you want to talk about making a little creepy story out of uh, out of something wonderful? The lion suit that was featured in The Wizard of Oz uh-huh. was actually made of a real lion. Oh, now I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yep, yep, mad questions. Okay, well, you're gonna have to ask somebody else them because I'm moving on. <laughs> okay, I did you ever see know what kind of alterations were made? I'm sure quite a bit. <laughs> Must have been a big lion, that's oh for sure, because that God. guy was fat. That's how that's, about this? That is not nice. I know it's not nice, but I'm fat, so I can say it. It's just like that's, I can't. It's no, like I can. No, as as a fat guy, I can call another person fat. You cannot because you're not fat. It's it's the same rule like saying the n word for black people. I, as a white guy, cannot say the n word. To, to anybody else because it's not appropriate because I'm not a black guy. But you, being a black guy, can say the N-word to other people, and it's not nearly as offensive. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Here's okay. what I need you to do. Oh, God. While, while you're moving on to the next new news story. Yeah. You're going to play with your ears a little bit more? Well, I can't get these headphones to stay in. The, these things, they just, like, slip out of my ears. Like, I put them in, and they just migrate out. So and, your and ear holes are basically Maj- Madonna's vagina. That, see... Yeah, I went there. I on this holy Easter day, I'm taking it to you know, the dirtiest place I can possibly you, take. Right. it. Right. You know, if Jesus could hear you right now, he would rise up. He would destroy your house. <laughs> he would just. He would. He would turn your house yeah, to rubble on if, top of my Jesus head. If Jesus heard you right now, boy, three days later, <laughs> you're in some deep shit. I am. I am. <laughs> All right. How about this? Did you ever see the movie Troy? Starred Brad Pitt. Um. No. Okay. No, I did not. Well, he played he played the the classic Greek character Achilles. Right. Yeah. I saw that. I, I saw that in a Watch Mojo segment. Okay. All right. So the, here's the here's the irony. While playing Achilles in Troy, Brad Pitt tore his Achilles heel, <laughs> his Achilles tendon. <laughs> See, isn't that great? I, it, it, and I feel bad for laughing. No, you should. But then again. I, I, I don't feel like I can be judged, you know, right? because of the Call of Duty I guy. think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know. How about this? Now, since you and I are actual, you know, real followers of science and not a flat earther dumbass. Right. Well, um, damn. Yeah, I threw that out there, Phil. We miss you, Phil. We miss you, Phil. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, <laughs> how about this? The International Space Station. That's the only reason why I brought that up. Mm. Do you know how it's powered? Well, wait, wait, according to science or according to Phil? No, in real. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, yeah real, real talk, n- not not, n- not crazy power, talk. I'm assuming? No. Some sort of nuclear reactor? No. Maybe not. An acre of solar panels. I like, mean, imagine maybe. an acre. And like, in, like when people say, hey, I've got an acre of corn, that's a pretty sizable amount of land. So this is like an acre, and there's a full acre of nothing but solar panels that power that's, the International Space Station. That's pretty huge. That is That is pretty huge. But now my next question becomes. Yes. With all this open space that we have yeah. here in America, and don't get me wrong, in some cities we're just jammed in there like sardines in a can. We are. But I do know that there are areas out <laughs> west where people live a little further apart, you know. Cause, That's true. Because it's hot. Right. And and I'm thinking if it's hot there, it's because the sun's there. Right. And I feel like that's prime real estate, real estate for, for solar panels. Right. So... And don't give me that it's not cost efficient to do this <coughs> because it's always cost efficient to give a damn. Right. In my opinion. I would also agree. In some, in some cases. And for me, it really comes down to one simple thing. If Think of all the desert that we have. We could just. Right. You could just paste solar panels just like all over the desert. Right. And put them up really high, you know, because obviously, the sa- you know, sand's going to come in. It's going to blow in places and things like that. So, you know. My thing is, 
why in God's name can we not put something in like the Mojave Desert? Oh, that that's a good way to keep those in, buddy. You know what? I I am glad that you're the only one that can actually see me <laughs> at this moment, and Dude, that, that you can see how I solve this problem. I, I gotta do. I gotta I'm do the Homer quote. Desperate. <laughs> I gotta do the Homer quote. <laughs> I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. <laughs> so okay, basically, it's like this. No, um, you don't have to explain it. You don't have to explain you, it. Uh, you, you want me to just let that one go? Yeah, just let okay. it go. Just let I'm it go. Let it go. Okay. But it was some ingenious shit. It, it was ingenious. <laughs> it is ingenious. So how about this? So um, have you seen the Fast and the Furious movies? Um, I saw At least the a only one that mattered, which was the first one. Okay, well, that's very true. Well, you know that there's been seven of them, or did you know there were seven? No, I knew that there were seven. Okay, the, but you've only seen the first one. I knew that there were seven movies. After the first one, I started watching part of the second mm-hmm. one. And a little voice went off in my head and said, there's no way that there are this many situations in life that affect this group of people. <laughs> and the only way to solve it is to get in a big ass, badass, souped up car and drive around real fast. Yes, there is. The well, see, here's what I would show recommend. Show me two. <laughs> okay, I, I will show you two after the show. <laughs> show me two. Here, I, here's what I would recommend. If you want to see the rest of the, the, you know, the, good, one, the good ones, skip two, skip three, because three is the worst. It's by far the worst. It was like the third Halloween movie. You should never. Most people don't even know <laughs> what the per, what was in the third Halloween movie, I've, and it's best for society that most people don't know. I've never seen any of those. Okay, well, you should see one, four, five, six, and seven. In you that, should skip in that order. Or? Yeah, I would say in that order. Okay, yeah. fair enough. It'll be a little bit confusing if you don't see three, or if you don't see two, because there are characters from two and three that show up in four, five, six, and seven. So this is like a general consensus that people feel about. Yeah, because the third. Whoa, wait. I'm sorry. You're talking about you're talking about Halloween. I was going back to Fast and Furious, but. Yeah, yeah, Halloween's, oh. <laughs> uh, Halloween's. Yeah, you should totally skip three. You, pr- the fourth one was pretty good. Y- yeah, uh, we're just gonna move on. We're yeah. just gonna move on. Okay. Well, here's the reason I bring you it. You gotta write them down for right. me. Okay. Here's the reason I bring it up is we all know Paul Walker died. That w- shortly yeah. before number seven finished filming. Spo- spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The real guy died, not just in the movie. Uh, right. Because yeah. he didn't. He technically he hasn't died in the movie. He just right. Well, I mean, died he, in real he, life. He kept doing those movies. So you know, had he not perished, his career still was on life support right so there's that well check this out within 24 hours of his death over 30 of paul walker's cars were stolen from a warehouse that he kept them stored in you he was a car guy oh so so a day after he died there's no humanity in humanity 30 people i mean 30 cars 30 of his like souped up really nice cars were stolen from a warehouse that he stored them in and, and you said within 24 hours. Within 24 hours. Within a day. So, basically, <clears throat> the guy from Fast and the Furious dies. Yeah. And then goes gone in 60 seconds post-mortem. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now that was uncalled. You're for. going to hell. <laughs> you are officially going to hell on this Easter Sunday. You sick, sick bastard. <laughs> I got a little more new, a little more movie stuff for you. You sick, sick mofo. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> they just draw me that way. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I just watched part of that yesterday. Yeah, it's a good movie. I Who did. Framed I, Roger Rabbit? Yeah. I, I only watched now, you, Do you know Jessica who the voice Rabbit was? Part. Do you know who the voice was of Jessica Rabbit? Oh, oh, Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner. Yes. Yeah, she, yes. Had, she had a really sexy voice. She did for, for having like a deep and husky voice. Yeah. Like that's, she they just had it going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but. Her body, me, me, not so much. I mean, she she was all right back in the eighties, but uh, you know what? That's that's the only way I remember. Her. That's the way I think about her. So you good know, for you. That's, that's so. How about this? Is. You you've seen Scarface. I know you've had to have seen Scarface. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, what what is the drug of choice in Scarface? Oh, the cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah, a lot of cocaine. Oh, a lot of blow. <laughs> While writing Scarface, Oliver Stone was actually addicted to cocaine. <laughs> The only part that makes that news for me is the fact that he admitted to one movie <laughs> and, and being the addiction because I, I, I know a lot of people who love the cocaine <coughs> and they've never done one of anything mm-hmm. on cocaine. They've no, never been you. like, I'll make a movie, then I'll stop doing cocaine, <laughs> I'll start doing other stuff. No, it's I'm going to make a movie and then I hope to God I can make like five more because then I can afford this habit. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. How about this? You want Okay, so we, we talked about... You know, Call of Duty guy. Yes. Which is a really sick story. Yes. I've got an even sicker one. Meaner, mean, mean old man. Oh, even worse. He, oh, worse oh. than that guy? Worse than that guy. Okay. A man named H.H. H. Holmes renovated a three-story hotel specifically with the sole intent and purpose of killing people in it. 
I it included stairways to nowhere <laughs> and a maze of over one hundred windowless rooms. He killed as many as two hundred people in it. How? I don't even I know so, how this worked. I have so many questions because I mean I know that he didn't do all this by hand himself. You gotta have contractors. Uh-huh. You gotta have help. Right? Did not anyone ask any questions? I guess not. at any point. I like, guess not. Knocked on his door like, hey. <laughs> I just we've been going over the plans and everything looks sense. solid. Like we've got the materials, we've got everything, we can make it work. But there's this giant hole where there's like an alligator <laughs> that's eating people. Yeah. Like they're eating my guys. Right. And I just I feel like we should get in front of this before this becomes a problem. <laughs> Well, they probably just built the pit, but How he didn't put did the he spend on it. I have I, that I don't know, but How much did, does Hotel Labyrinth cost? I don't know. <laughs> this is back in the 20s. This is a long time ago, but Hold check on. this out. I'm jumping on TripAdvisor. He actually made money on it. What? You want to know how? What was he placing bets? Nope. He sold the skeletons of his victims to medical schools. You know what? I can't <laughs> I can't even hate on him. Is that worse? Solid worst? business plan. <laughs> Stick with is that worse than Gus, is that worse than Gutsido Wayne? Would that have would that That's, have won? No, Gutsido Wayne is now a fool. <laughs> he very well could have been and possibly could still be in a medical journal somewhere. That's, that's true. Somehow, because <laughs> I tell you what, if my intestines come out and I can still walk around, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to the hospital, but it's not for treatment; it's for a photo shoot. There you go. Like that's one of you guys. If you play your cards right can be with me on the corner of a mag on, on the cover of a magazine somewhere. That's true. Yep. How about this our cuz science mo- uh, uh, dope of the week? The planet <laughs> the planet Jupiter is so large and round and Sorry, round my bad. and <laughs> spherical. <laughs> spherical not round. <laughs> spherical, Phil. Uh it's so <laughs> large that it can actually fit 1300 earths inside of it. Who does this math? <laughs> Just because just because it's math doesn't mean anything. That I <laughs> no, it's not that the the math's complex. Oh, Ed, Ed, it's Ed, just Ed wrote in uh, flat earther in the house. Did you watch the videos? I watched the uh, one of the videos that Ed sent to me last week was that six of the seven astronauts from the shuttle Challenger tragedy uh-huh. are actually alive and doing stuff here in the United States. I see now I watched one of the videos. I I was actually watching it when 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 the crew left. Right, right. Last week. Mm-hmm. Um I I was watching it. And and I learned a lot actually. Mm-hmm. I learned some pretty provocative things. Okay. W- during the viewing of that. So I haven't checked out that one. Yeah. But I checked out the Challenger one and it's a little creepy. I'm st- I still haven't done my own personal research on it, so I'm not mm-hmm. going to comment on it cuz I don't want to spread craziness to the world there's right. enough craziness as it is right well I mean, just with these facts alone. i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what i learned okay what'd you learn i learned that i can drool on myself for seven straight minutes <laughs> and not give a fuck <laughs> okay <laughs> sounds good to me because i'm still more offended by what i'm looking at <laughs> than the drool okay fair enough i felt like i needed to share that uh, well thank you <laughs> how about this Ohio is the most presidential state of all 50 United States. You want to know why? We've had more presidents from there? Yes. Seven out of our 44 U.S. presidents were born in Ohio. Wow. Now, you know. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Yes. Now, we have 50, right? 50 states. Yeah, we have 50. Yes. And Ohio gains the lead by having seven? Seven. Wow. Yeah. Well, Missouri's actually tied with Kenya for most presidents because that's, <laughs> where, that's where Barack Obama came from. <laughs> Harry Truman and Barack Obama. Woo-hoo! Yes, I went there, folks. I'm a birther. What can I say? Keep I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep going. Oh, I'm going to keep going. Oh, that's messed up. How about this? You want to? Okay, so here's here's a little historical perspective for you. Okay, you ready? Yes. William Shakespeare and Pocahontas were both alive at the same time. Would you have ever put that together? I wouldn't. No. I, no. I never would have, but yeah. they could have hooked up. Right, but he wow. could Dude, he yeah. could have wrote the